say, yeah, man, we, we about to get ready and stuff, you feel me? I'm gonna probably change, throw on some sweats, you feel me? I'm gonna probably keep on the t-shirt and stuff, just throw me a little chain on and shit. We on my Central C type vibes today, man. I don't know if y'all can tell, but uh, we got the ski mask on the top. I ain't got no boot cap. With my, my ski on my head, man. So we finna go, we finna go drop my car off and some more stuff, man. We finna get straight into the vlog. I ain't what y'all got going on, man? Sorry to interrupt the video, but I just had to let y'all know this. Like, a lot of people be hitting me up all the time asking me, how can y'all make money? And I'ma let y'all know how right now. So it's currently 2.36 at night. I'm about to show y'all, man. Y'all check the time on my phone. It is currently 2.36 right now, man. But I'm about to show y'all how I just cashed out $750 directly into my bank account. So everybody asks me all the time, how do I make money, man? I'm going to let y'all know it's easy. I'm going to show y'all right now. It's a couple steps. Just listen to me. Hear me click out. the link down below inside of my bio. And once you click the link in my bio, this is all you got to do. It's a couple quick, easy steps. Okay, so follow these exact steps and you can earn your reward. All you got to do to earn your reward is click on one of my videos and go to my description. You can click on the current video you're watching right now and go to my description. You want to click on the link inside of my description. After clicking on the link, make sure you open it in your browser. When you open it in your browser, click right here so you can open it up in Safari. Once you open it up in Safari, all you got to do is fill out a couple of these quick steps. So you're going to go here. How do you plan to use your account? You want to keep it. Uh, you tell them how much you shop per week. After doing this, it's going to take a little second. You're going to put in your email. Hold up. I'm going to type in my email real quick. Can't show y'all that. Continue. And then from there, you go do the optional survey. All right. It's going to take me a little second to do this. So we're going to fill out the survey. Fill out everything correctly, answer all the questions. And you're a couple steps away from getting your $750 cash reward. So after this, you put in your phone number, you finish filling everything out, and then you're almost to where you gotta be at the end of the road in order to collect your reward. Next, you're gonna do the optional offers. After completing the optional offers, you gotta do two deals. So for the deals, I like to do Dice Dreams, or you can do Live Play Bingo. Both of these are the best ones to do to collect your reward. So all you gotta do is download one game. I usually download two just to make sure I get my money guaranteed. So. Click download the game. After downloading the game, you're gonna open it and you're gonna let it run for a little second. So we just gonna sit here, gonna let the game run for a little second. We're gonna play it. All right, so we're gonna play the game for a little bit, let it run through. Okay, so we started at 236 and we finished the surveys and all the deals at about three o'clock. And it's 12 minutes later, and I just got another $750, y'all. I'm about to cash it out right now. But it's got a whole nother $750, bro. I told y'all. I told y'all. I finished completing the survey and my deals at about like 3 o'clock, bro. It's nothing but... It's nothing but 312, bro. Y'all can see it. It's nothing but 312. Like, bro, my hands are literally shaking. It's only 312. So it's 12 minutes later and my $750 is in my cash out. We is about to literally go shopping with this money tomorrow, man. But y'all folks, just stay tuned, bro. Like I said, bro, this is an easy way to make money, man. All you got to do is click the link in my bio and follow those steps I just showed you. And you too can have $750 reward, man. Yeah, but I'm going to see y'all folks later, man. We is back with another vlog, man. Today's video is supposed to be kind of emotional. I don't know if y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, you feel me? We is dropping my ZL1 off today. And I will be showing y'all the damages because a lot of people ain't even know that something happened to the ZL1. Folks was asking me, like, why I haven't been posting car content? Why I ain't get the car wrap? Why I ain't been doing no videos? And truth be told, is because somebody hit my car like a couple months ago but i never really told y'all i really been just holding it on the wraps you feel me still doing my content and shit but we finna go downstairs you feel me warm up the car get ready to drop it off at the repair shop collision shop whatever y'all want to call it so they can fix the whip man and we're gonna be saying goodbye to the zl1 for a little while y'all it'll be back but yeah, man, we just gonna go downstairs. I'll catch y'all folks when we was in the car. Hey, man, they say we outside, but before I get in the wheel, I just had to, like, take a little second to show y'all my outfit, you feel me? It ain't nothing major, but, like, I feel like I look like a rapper or something, y'all. You feel me? So we go, yo, yo, baggy shorts, you feel me? We go a little t-shirt with a jewelry on. I feel like I like a rapper for real, but yeah, man, we finna go get in the whip, we finna start it up and shit like that. I'll let y'all hear the cold start once you get on the inside. But yeah, man, we just finna go drop the whip off. It is a sad slash not sad day, cause I really been waiting to get this car fixed, man. A lot of people don't know 
did the car had damage in the first place you feel me i tell y'all like the story of what happened and how the car got hit and stuff like that when we get in the whip man but yeah man y'all folks should give me one second all right y'all hold on i gotta get my camera situated i don't need this big guy damn you feel me rolling around and stuff but i was gonna say man we is in the car right now folks you feel me finna get y'all folks like a little quick little cold starting stuff like that you feel me Y'all can tell them motherfucker ain't been started up in a minute. I don't know if y'all just heard that bit. That bitch was just lagging. But yeah, bro, I ain't drove my car like for real, for real, probably like in like the past month. You feel me? Car really just been sitting. And if y'all could tell, I also ain't been coming out here to start it or no shit. So yeah, man, that was like a, a cold start after being sitting for like a week, bro. My car just been sitting in the carport and shit. But we was about to go put some gas in it, bro, because I do got to have fuel to get to my destination. And they going to need gas to, like, drive it around and stuff like that. Driving it around a lot and moving it as they working on it and stuff. But, yeah, y'all. Not going to lie, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know how to feel. I'm kind of angry about my car, but I'm not because you feel me. I know how to get around. I got transportation and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people that's been following me for a little second. I know some of y'all is new to my page, man. To all of my new subscribers, you feel me? Y'all is just now going to find out about this. But, like, I had my license suspended before this for, like, probably, like, six months or something like that really a year i had my license spending for like a year for running from georgia state patrol i did a story time on that it's on youtube y'all go watch that but basically bro like i had got used to getting black trucks you feel me getting driven around and stuff so it didn't really bother me necessarily because like i hadn't really been using my car anyway so once i got my car like i wasn't really too much hurt about not being able to whip it but you know shit happens though bro when it gets fixed, you feel me? I ain't got to worry about it no more. And then we can finally get it wrapped. And then it'll be better for me just because, you feel me? Like, shit, that's all I've been wanting to do is wrap the car since I got it. But I ain't had a chance to wrap it for the simple fact that it got a dent and some more shit. So, you feel me? Who's finna wrap a fucked up car? And we got to get stars in the roof and some more shit. Like, y'all know it's supposed to be a lot of cosmetic shit done on this car. Just never got around to it due to the circumstances, you feel me? But, like I said, y'all, like... We finna get all of this shit worked, fixed, you feel me? Everything finna get situated right now, so it really don't matter. But getting into the story of just like how the shit happened originally, you feel me? I'ma put the clips in here too because I was recording the day that it happened and I actually like, I didn't record the girl hitting me, but I did record like after it happened and stuff, you feel me? I was gonna drop the video like a long time ago. Just never got around to it, bro. And it wasn't really like super, super important to me at the time. So I wasn't rushing to drop no video and be like, oh, somebody hit my whip. You feel me? I ain't like the, uh, I know a lot of YouTubers be like, quick to use clickbaitable content and stuff like that look at spraying that guy bro you feel me i do be doing like clickbait sometimes but my videos for the most part y'all know bro like what my title and my thumbnail say usually is exactly what the fuck is going on but yeah bro i could have said somebody crashed my whip wrecked it whatever the case may be i did not do that but yeah bro it still sound good but now nah. <laughs> I was basically going to go do a POV video. This was right around the time when I had very first got the car. Y'all remember this. I was doing consistent content on the whip. Uh, as I was driving my whip, it was like right after I had just got it back. Because I don't know if y'all seen on my page, bro. Y'all could go look, bro. This is not the first time somebody has hit this car, bro. It seems like this car is prone to accidents or something. Luckily, it's never my fault. So, I never have to pay for it. So, I really don't be caring. But if y'all go look, bro. Y'all remember when I very first got this car, somebody hit it in Miami. And I dropped a video just like explaining to everybody how the car, you feel me, had got uh, hit and stuff like that. And... You feel me? I did a video just like saying like, oh, is the car wrecked? And I ended up getting it fixed, bro. And who would have known like a week after I got it fixed, something would have popped off again and it would have got messed up again. But you know, shit, shit happens, bro. I had recorded the content, never dropped the video, et cetera, et cetera. But now you feel me? Finally finna drop the video. Y'all get to see the car and see what happened to it and stuff like that. And yeah, man, we... We finna get everything situated, but hold on, I'm finna tell y'all the story. I gotta see what my cousin doing. I gotta go to the gas station. Shut up, bitch. But nah, so then, bro, what I was gonna say, so basically, yeah, bro, like, uh, long story short, bro, I was gonna go do my POV content, whatever the case may be, it was right after I had just got the car back from getting messed up the first time, and as I'm passing, like, GSU, 
I know y'all know about GSU if you're from Atlanta, bro. Georgia State University, whatever the case may be, bro. A female just randomly decides that, uh, like, it, it was graduation day. So, GSU was packed out, bro. Cars coming all in and out of GSU. Like, it was jumping for real, for real. Like, I had never seen that much traffic at GSU. And then, long story short, bro, like, uh... I'm in the left lane and a female in the right lane and Shawty like tried to merge into my lane without looking and Shawty just like turned into the side of my car type shit like that shit was so crazy bro like when she turned and hit my car bro like she looked at me and she was like oh my god I'm so sorry and I'm like yeah bitch you smacked my whip and Shawty on some like I apologize uh I'll give you my insurance we could fix it I recorded the whole situation you feel me but it's just crazy cuz I was going to go do a video on my car and a bitch smacked my car. And I never got around to doing my POV videos, you feel me? Like, since my car had the dent, it wasn't really like, good looking to be putting in thumbnails and shit. So it just really turned me off on the whole car content aspect of my vlogs and shit. So yeah, bro, that's why I hadn't been doing car content and shit. But y'all gonna get to see the clips of the girl hitting my car, me talking to 12, I'ma throw it somewhere in here, you feel me? Y'all will get to see the damage on the car. And y'all will get to see me drop it off and say goodbye to my whip for how knows long. Y'all know it be taking a long time for these people to fix cars when it kind of collision damage. But whenever we get it back, you feel me? It'll be in full effect. I can finally start doing all of my mods and everything that I been waiting to do and a lot of y'all don't know but in these next couple videos bro we're gonna be going to the car lot testing cars and stuff like that just because for me personally bro like i'm trying to uh what you call it get a second car bro the only way i'm ever gonna be able to upgrade my whip you feel me do any type of real modifications and shit is if i fucking you feel me got now um, uh what i was gonna say i don't know i'm gonna be able to do modifications and shit is if i get a second whip bro because i've come to a realization like my nigga if if the car that you trying to work on is also the car that you driving bro like you're never gonna get that opportunity to really fix this bitch or do what you want to do to it because shit bro i'm not gonna lie bro when your car is your everyday driver bro for one bro like it be a lot of times when you be having stuff to do with your car or stuff that you need to do and you feel me not having a second car is gonna fuck you up because how the fuck is you gonna fix your car or work on your car if you feel me your car is always needed to be used so i be fucking myself up because like i said bro i tried to turn the car that i wanted to mod into my everyday driver bro instead of having two whips and you feel me like i said bro like the car consistently had somebody hitting it it's always having something going on or i be needing it for transportation and stuff so i never get around to like really do the mods i be wanting to do as far as like getting the car wrapped getting the lights done and stuff but yeah bro we finna start looking at different whips and stuff bro so my next couple vlogs bro we're gonna be doing a little bit of car shopping going to car lights test driving whips trying to see what type of whip we're gonna get bro so y'all look to look forward to look as for getting a second whip in one of these upcoming vlogs and just look to look forward to me test driving shit in general bro like i'm gonna tell y'all some of the options of the cars i want to get bro it's between cts5 black wing uh a hellcat red eye or a jailbreak it gotta be a charger um it's between like a fucking what's the other cars i was thinking about a bmw m8 and the very last option i was thinking about bro is like uh i ain't gonna lie i was kind of thinking about getting a c8 but i only want a c8 if i get the z06 and 180,000 on the car is kind of a stretch if i'm gonna do that i feel like i might as well go amg gt63 so yeah bro it's between amg gt63s black wing hellcat red eye jailbreak we're gonna see what happens bro i'm gonna go test drive all of them you feel me do vlogs inside all of the cars let y'all know how i feel about them and like my genuine reaction and stuff and then eventually we'll cop one and shit bro we'll just like drive that car in the meantime until this car get back you feel me and then shit once this car get back we'll have two whips i'll be able to swap them out and it won't matter which one is my everyday driver because at that point i always have a car i could drive bro like i said bro don't try to build a car and let the car be your everyday driver bro something's gonna come up bro like i've had this car for almost six months y'all see it ain't no stars in the roof no nothing because something always happening to this bit but i'm finna go ahead and put gas in the car bro we finna drive and get ready to drop it off and then i'll show y'all the damage and throw in the clips of like the female hitting my whip and stuff like that and then you feel me we'll do a little bit of talking once we get back in the whips i see y'all folks in a second all right y'all so if y'all can't tell man we is at the spot finna drop the car off the zl1 is right here i know a lot of y'all ain't ever seen the car since the damage happened or whatever the case may be i don't know why this monkey ain't got nothing blowing his horn but yeah man say 
it look good bro it actually ain't nothing really wrong with the car for real the only thing that's actually wrong with the car is right here say we got a little bit of cosmetic damage nothing nothing really bad it's just a little dent and a little bit of body damage you feel me she scratched my little light and shit like that but i mean other than that though bro you really can't tell nothing's wrong with the car i know y'all probably gonna be like bro this nigga is petty as hell or this nigga be doing too much but yeah man I didn't feel like being seen with the car like that and I would rather get it fixed than just be driving around with a little scratch and a dent on it so it's finally getting dropped off finally get it getting fixed and once it's repaired I can finally wrap my car and do my little mods and do all the shit I want to do to that shit what the fuck is it smell oh, like sandwich meat in here brother this guy stinks cousin it be looking like Habib shrimp scampi with the uh, yeah it smell the like you it smell like you ate shrimp scampi and catfish <laughs> Catfish. Like it's smelling fucking zesty in the car. Not zesty as in like sweet, but like zesty as in like. Women's yeah, like. Herbs and spices. Oh God, <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga say it smell like, like some African oh, shit going on in this bitch. But yeah, y'all. Man, say. Car dropped, though. It ain't really a sad situation because y'all already know it's going to be fixed. It'd be different if, like, the car was total or, like, it was, like, some terrible damage or something. It really wasn't nothing but some pet. It really wasn't nothing but some petty shit. Y'all just, like, I told y'all, bro, I got OCD, bro. And I just, bro, I just, that shit was annoying me, bro. So I just was, like, really not driving my car, really not doing content. But when we get it back, bro, it'll be in full effect. And in the meantime, bro, you feel me? Like, I'll be dropping videos, you feel me? Like I said, test driving other cars trying to see what i, I want to get is my second vehicle because the second whip is finna be in effect trying to build a, a small little fleet again you feel me but we'll see what happens i hope y'all uh enjoyed watching me drop my car off even though it really wasn't much of shit going on i'm finna show y'all the video footage of like the female hitting me and all that good stuff and like talking to 12 and shit i'll put it somewhere in right here that shit is crazy Ain't that bad though. Fuck, I'm gonna change both pieces again. I'm sorry. It's okay. And then what all did it do to your car? Oh yeah, it did me worse than it did you. I think I just got one scratch. Yeah, it definitely did. These folks do not want to answer the phone. Yeah, we're good. All right, YouTube. So we is back with. Say it again. No problem. So we is back with another video, guys. I was gonna say in today's video, it's a little bit different, man. Man, somebody done hit the Chevy again. It's like the second time they didn't hit my baby, man. But we fin it ain't nothing major, so we're gonna drop it off and let the insurance fix it. But the girl that just hit my car just pulled off, man. That shit is crazy. I just got the insurance and stuff like that though, so we'll be getting it fixed. But YouTube, it seems like my car cannot stay out the shop, man. Somebody is consistently hitting my car, but man, we finna pull I off. Man, got my no shit fixed. If you know, you know. And then hold your Mac my shit out again. <laughs> Nigga, I can't catch no break. It seems like a motherfucker hit my car every day. Yeah, yeah, bro. She hit my shit right yeah, there. Yeah, bro. Y'all put some gasoline on that shit. Man, hell no, man. No, I'm a, a bougie hoe. She, I'm taking my, yeah, she dented my shit. You know, that's what I'm saying. Sure, you for sure gotta go get that shit. I gotta go get that shit fixed, bro. That yeah, shit lame man. as hell, though, bro. Cause I jack got a, my shit back. You might huh? can take a plunger, you know, yeah. like. Yeah. Man, I ain't doing that country shit. I got money. I'm finna go get this shit fixed, man. But I was gonna say, bro, the shit just crazy, bro. Kai literally just got my car fixed, y'all. That shit hell. Shout out to Mac Lil Casper ass sack. Easy breezy. She ain't waste no time. Shout out to hit my shit and kept going. Yeah, man, if y'all can't tell, we was at the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, man. I got more vlogs coming soon, you feel me? More free game videos y'all been seeing. I've been trying to be more consistent. And I'm only just going to get better with time, you feel me? We just got to keep working, keep going hard. But to anybody that's watching this vlog, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I will see y'all folks again in the next one, man. Y'all folks, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And Casper is out.